Here is a quick tip for the way that you can think. In the past, I've mentioned this before in a handful of videos that I created and uploaded on the YouTube and a couple other platforms. So I'm going to mention it again. And a, a way for people to be able to be found through major search engines, right, is to use SEO. SEO, search engine optimization. So one day I was like, okay, how can I use this method in my own life? How can I get creative with this and apply it to where it works in my favor? Here's the number one way you can do it is by becoming the creative listener. Two key words, creative listener. When you're having a conversation, when you are listening to listening or hearing something that's educational, that's going to help you learn something new, or if you're having a really amazing conversation with somebody that has more knowledge, more experience, more blah, blah, blah than you, become the creative listener. Hear them out, of course, but also be able to be patient with when you respond, how you respond, right? Be considerate and um, be able to just hear them out and then in the conversations, multitask, right? You're, the way to apply how to learn and get these creative ideas out of nowhere, anywhere, right? We said, I've said it before that you can find inspiration from anywhere is to be able to listen for key words in those conversations because you, uh, you never know what exactly could uncover, right? Um, you, you never know what exactly could happen uh, in the middle of that conversation, you could spark the most amazing idea in your life and then whoo, everything changes from there. And you just have this drive that just takes you to who God knows where. Become the creative listener. Two of the most important words that I have learned in life. Creative. When you stay creative, you don't get bored of life. And when you become a great listener, people will learn to want to hear you. Number one thing is because when they want to hear you, it's because you, in return, hear them.